And here it is. Here's my homemade burnout kiln. All for under £20. If you shop around for these parts, you'll probably get them cheaper. And I just want to show you now. All it is is a camping wood stove, which is here. And a temperature gauge that I fitted, which cost me £3 and I actually got two. I've actually got a spare one. And then I bought some fire blanket and then some fire cement so all this is just insulation which you've got in your gas kilns and i've just cut it up fitted it inside all as a square and then the fire cement i've just put bits on top just to, so it holds the blanket to the wall and i put wire on it as well and um, this is my camping stove which you can pick these up for 15 pound and you'll get gas cylinders with them and then the cage the grill what sits on top i've also put the insulation on underneath and then the cement on top so look we're basically just on 100 degrees i just want to show you how fast this heats up so i'm just going to put it this way you can have it either way, but I've actually built this so this insulation goes inside. I'm just doing a few tests to see which is the best. But it's keeping eating. Okay, so just watch this now. I'm just going to turn it on. Okay. Now on. Can you see? And it's not full. You see, it's still at the top. That would be full down there. And I just want to show you what's happening here. Look, this is going to be a full, but look where we're at already. This is our well it is insulated and how well it's holding eating so you could even use this you could drop this window what's here you could even drop that and you could even put gold in there and i reckon gold would melt inside this or you could just fire a map gas torch underneath eat your crucible up put a crucible in but i haven't built it for this but look it maxes out it maxes out at 800 degrees 